I've never joined a robotics team before and it's definitely really exciting. I'm learning a little bit about code and building the robot itself. It's definitely a lot of fun. We gotta work together, well the robot won't get done. We gotta communicate and talk to each other and we gotta work together, otherwise nothing will ever get done. If we just stand around bickering, it's useless. My favorite part of like building the robot is definitely like when we have a challenge and then we, we design a specific part to meet that challenge or design a mechanism. Just a few minutes ago, we had a large cage that held totes, and then we had a drivetrain, and the challenge was mounting the cage onto the drivetrain. So we, we knew what we had to do, and then we designed a part, we built the part, and right now it should be we're drilling it out and attaching it to the robot. My role is, uh, as the mentor, is somebody just to ask the questions, uh, try to identify where those cliffs may be, and prevent the, the team from going over that cliff. But uh, I really don't want my stamp on that robot. I don't want to be the one creating it. I don't want to be the one creating the design or, or manufacturing it. I, I think the pride within the team comes from, from their concept uh, and from their design and from their construction. And as the mentors, whatever perspective that is, uh, as an educator or somebody who, who enjoys robotics, um, just provide that, that guidance. Uh, but I don't want to be the one creating the robot. The very essence of our robotics team is um, kid, kids helping kids and then the mentors also get, giving their input into the design process. We would go nowhere if no, no one helped each other. One of the main ways our team is different from other teams is it's very student driven. We have all the students hands on, all the major decisions about our robot and all the major pieces of our robot are decided and put together by the students under the guidance of the mentors rather than the mentors are doing things hands-on. The mentors, I don't know any of them personally, but they have been a really big help. Just throwing ideas out and not actually doing any hands-on work with the robot. It's definitely been a big help. That they're more supervisors than actually hands-on working with the robot. Letting the kids work with the robot. I know some of the mentors as family friends before here, but I think the mentors seem really helpful and definitely are important to the team. I think the best part from my perspective as a principal at Smith Folk is the, the collaboration between both schools. Uh, I think my experience here at Smith Folk, we have, we have excellent students here. We have students who are, are, are very practical, hands-on learners. And, and having that type of learner then interact with, uh, with students from Northampton High who come from a traditional school, uh, more academic-minded, I think it's a perfect marriage. Well, one of the things I'm most proud of this year is our successful collaboration with Smith Vogue. I love the enthusiasm of the members that have joined. We have three committed members um, from Smith Vogue who are here almost all the time, and I love how excited they are about robotics. I think that we're doing pretty well, and I see like as the team itself, I think we're going to stay at like a Smith Vogue, Northampton High, just general community team. I think that's really great for the team. This is just the the starting point uh, for a long-term relationship between both schools and thanks to robotics brought us together.